Hello, this is Spicy Reaper coming at you with another tutorial. Today's episode is spheres, domes, and I'm going to touch up a little bit on circles. So, here is a circle. This is my standard medium sized circle. It is starts with five here, goes two, cross, goes two, one, one, two, two, five. So there's your standard circle. Now with practice and experience, with bigger and smaller circles, you can make um, different ones that look good. I mean, I can make a circle that can that is completely different in size and still looks good. But that's just experience. And build this one a few times, expand your horizons, and you'll get better with circles. All right, moving on. So we're using this same circle over here. I have built part of a dome. This is a quarter of the dome that I built. I didn't want to build the whole thing for demonstrational purposes so we can fill in the parts that we need to fill in. We're not going to be building the whole dome, but this little construct, I start with four of these pillars and then I fill in the middle. But how do we make the pillars? All right, let's start there. So we have the five here, and then I go five up or make it five up. I go four up actually. One, two, three, four, five. Five up. Okay, so I use this next one. Two, two. Go two again, because there's another two. Surprise, surprise. Two of the ones, two ones. Now here's a change. It curves the other direction. So we're gonna need to put this the other direction facing the center of the circle. And there's two of those, so there's two of those. Now here, when you when you fill them in, uh, when you fill this thing in, it normally makes this shape here. And what I like to do is build one up <coughs> and fill in that hole, because the sphere, my sphere theory, the sphere, that's clever, I know. <laughs> it uh, it doesn't have an answer for that because it stops at two there, it stops at two. So I fill in that top one, whatever it is, and uh, works out well. So we're going to be building our own pillar here so we can get the hang of this. So there's four, two, two up, again, one across, one across, two across, two across. So we're going to make this circle shape um, symmetrical on all sides so that it would look like, uh, this is what it would look like if we had the whole thing filled up to the top, this is what the top patch would look like. Three, 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 here. So now that we've done that, I can walk you through what I did here. I don't want to build this all again, that'll take an extra minute, minute and a half, two, I don't know. I like to keep my videos relatively short. I know I don't like to watch 30 minute tutorials, so I'm not going to make them. Alright, so you go up four, you're going to go around that the whole way. You're going to go in one and do two, following the pillar guideline that we made. Go in one. And we're going to do the same thing, go in one, go in one. But this time we're only going to do one, one tall, one, and you get the hang of it. So that's how you make a sphere. Uh-oh, made a mistake there. <clears throat> now to make a dome, no sorry, that's how you make a dome. To make a sphere, you would not put five under. You wouldn't start with five under. Here's why. Um, the, the dome, I put five up just because it, it makes it taller so it, this doesn't land right here. Because I like it, it feels more spacious, it's nice. So this would be the middle, and then if I did the right perfect dome, then the walls would be this tall. I don't like that, so I build it five. Now if you're building a whole sphere, you would start building twos like this. Instead of building five under, you'd start right there. If that makes sense, it's a little confusing, I know, but you would start, that would be the center right there. So it'd be two this way, two that way, and then you start with the two. And I'm not going to build a full sphere. I might later, but I'm not going to do it right now. 
um, <clears throat> just because our pain. I don't know. I don't like floating, floating bubbles in the sky. But that might be a thing. That might be the whole reason you're watching this. All right. But that's all I got for today. Come at you next time with uh, some different, some more wisdom. Some not sure what it is though, so you just have to watch it yourself. All right. See ya.